I 100% completed the Super Mario RPG Remake. This means collecting every equipable, finding all treasure chests, including the hidden ones, obtaining all abilities for every character, and reaching level 30 with them. Raising my FP to 99 by collecting flower tabs, completing my monster list, collecting all special items in the game like the Alto Card and Shiny Stone, as well as collecting every single piece of equipment, which of course includes the Super Suit. And if you don't know about the Super Suit, well, lucky you, because acquiring this thing was one of the most brutal gaming challenges I have ever had to endure. You'll find out what the big deal is when you watch the rest of this video, but trust me, it's not fun to get. And of course, completing the story by taking down Big Bad Bowser. Wait a minute, you're telling me the big bad ain't Bowser this time? Okay, well to me, this looks like it's Bowser stealing Peach again, but let's find out. As Mario, we head into Bowser's castle, and wouldn't you know it, I was right. It's time to fight Bowser. Mario's like, give me that. Bowser, why are you chilling up there? Wait, how did we jump so high up there? He's only doing one damage. Mario, the chain, attack the chain. Chain, <laughs> chain de Leo. Oh, we broke the chain de Leo. What was that sound? No, it's a chain reaction. Hang in there, Chain Delia. Whatever you do, don't let go. Hey, uh, <laughs> fight Mario. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this should finish you. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this so far down? What is happening? Where did the floor go? Did you think I was just gonna give her to you? This is it. I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Yeah, not today. Funga fooled again. Oh, really? We'd be bopping up that high. Mario, you had me so worried. Come here, Patch. Mario, the whole castle's shaking. Then, a freaking sword, which looks like marks from Kirby, slams into the castle, sending Mario flying. <laughs> what the heck? Hey Mario, lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of the houses. Wow, okay, Toad. You're really belittling me right now. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario, so where is she? Wait, where did Peach go? Also, Toad looks hella fat in this. Not the fat shame, but... Sent back to our house without Peach, we attempt to head back to the castle, but are stopped by the evil Gigantamax sword. So instead, oh, we head for the Mushroom Kingdom to talk to the Chancellor. On our way there, we get accustomed with the battle mechanics of this game. Unfortunately, there is no surprise entrance attacks how there is in the Mario and Luigi games, which I so hope they remake next. However, like those games, there are attacks, items, and special attacks. This is a very traditional RPG in the fact that there's an obvious turn order, healing items, revival items, and so on and so forth. But what I do like is that if you time an A press right as you land an attack, it becomes a critical attack. Doing this also charges up the gauge move, which we'll see later. For now, I take down some Goombas, find my first flower tip of which I need to find 88 more to reach FP 99, and level up for the first time. Each level up gives us an overall bonus to our stats, but then we can also pick if we want to specialize in a certain attribute, like HP, attack, or magic. For Mario, I invested in his physical attacks. Before making it to town, I run into a huge hammer bro. Why he manhandling Toad like that? Let my boy go. Managing to take the two of them down, Toad asks where this hammer came from? The hammer, bro? I don't know, Toad. The guy who kidnapped you? Who had the hammer? Maybe? Picking up the hammer, we head into town and bust into some random people's houses. Boing, 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 boing. Think if I practice enough, I'll jump as high as you, Mario? Yeah, right, kid. I then headed to the shop and picked up the jump shoes item and a shirt. I, I, I guess a shirt is a good thing to have, right? And upon heading into the basement, this Trafalgar law looking dude gives us the signal pin, which helps us locate the hidden treasures all over the world, of which there are 39. Heading into the castle, we must obtain the only missable hidden chest in the game, where I had to jump on this toad's head, which I did admittedly fail a couple of times, forcing me to reset, but finally achieving it and finding it, I acquire a green frog coin, but I have no clue what these things do. Heading inside, we chat to the chancellor who wants me to track down the princess who is still missing. She must have been launched somewhere else when that sword slammed down. Leaving the castle, some dinosaur is running away from some marshmallow looking dude, I don't know. This dude asks for our help, and so off we go with Mallow to find that dinosaur. Mallow here has access to the Thunderbolt special move, which hits all enemies on the screen. I'm sure this will be quite useful going forward. 
Oh, and he's also got the Thought Peak ability, allowing us to see enemies' health and weaknesses. Making sure to fight every enemy to fill our monster list and picking up the hidden chest along the way, we find the raptor named Croco. So maybe he's actually a crocodile and not a dinosaur, but anyway, it's time to battle him. Leveling up, Maru learnt his fireball ability, which does good damage to Croco and stuns him for a turn as his tail gets burnt, which we also learned was a super effective move thanks to Mallow's Thought Peak. Defeating him, Mallow gets back his coin and he also drops a wallet. Some toad back in the town was saying he lost that, so I went and gave it back to him. But when I got back to the town, it seems it's been taken over by a bunch of hop and shy guys. After taking a few down, I gave the guy back his wallet after saying no a couple of times. I reached level 4 with both characters and decided to give Mallow some extra magic power. When reaching the inner sanctum of the castle, this bouncing sword dude kept bringing in more and more bouncing shy guys. But landing the crit lightning bolts, we managed to take them out while Mario works on damaging Claymore. Finally taking him down. Oh, big damage, and we take him out. Oh, look at all that money. We're rich. We're actually rich. I'm actually gonna go gamble at all of the casino. Is there a casino in this game? Okay, future RJ hopping in here. I actually had no idea, but apparently there actually is a casino in this game. And I just uh, foretold that with the magic of my psychic abilities. Or something like that. Claiming the blue star, Mallow and Maru head off to see Mallow's grandfather, who may know where the princess is. But what is this blue star? Only time will tell. All right, let's head into the Kero sewers. Yo, is that Neat Arena? Or Radata? Might be both combined, actually. Wait, what? Wait, I literally said its name. <laughs> uh, what? Taking down this fellow, we got the true form pin, which would be super useful for our next boss fight. But did I use it? No. So, uh, I guess it wasn't super useful. Definitely missed something. Oh. <gasps> Star! Ooh, a star! Let's kill everything! We then lowered the water level and went to the bottom of the sewers, running into below. Using our gauge move, Toad pops out and raises Mallow's attack, allowing us to zap him with a super powerful lightning bolt, which he is also weak to. This guy then turns Mario into a scarecrow, which I could have avoided using that pin, but fortunately, I can still use special attacks. Can't stand it. The hunger, the hunger! <laughs> He just ate Mal! What the shit? Eventually, Mario does turn back to normal and we get the thing down, thus freeing Mallow. Well, I must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Do you hear something? Or is it just me? Water, here it comes. To switch it back before we're washed away. Yeah, well, let's switch it back instead of running back and forth like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> uh oh. This begins the river minigame, which is absolutely dead. I can get green coins here if I need them, but I'm still not even sure what they're used for. So, uh, onwards we go. Who the heck is that guy fighting over there? Little ninja mage dude with a bag. That Koopa's flying around with a flower? This is, okay, okay. Well, now the, the cheap cheap has the flower, and now this tomato speared up the cheap cheap? And now the Koopa stole back the flower, and then he stole back it again. And then I got it. Wow, that was crazy. Arriving at Mallow's grandfather's pond, aka Tadpole Pond, we chat to the old geezer. You ain't fooling anyone, frogman. We can see that rope dangling. Before chatting to him, I check out the rest of the pond and find use for our green coins. Not wanting to waste them just yet, I save them up and run into a tadpole who's dreaming of becoming a composer. So what do I do? Take his tune and play it to a composer dude, ruining his chances and taking all the credit. <laughs> Hey, sweet, the auto card. I'll take that. But I'll need to find this guy two more times on our playthrough. Heading back to Jiraiya the Toad Sage. Oh, wait, no, he's dead. This is Fukasaku, the other frog guy from Naruto. He informs us the main villain's name is Smithy, which is kind of a weird... I guess this game was developed uh, really early in Mario's lifetime, and um, the whole game is a bit weird, really, isn't it? He then tells Mello that he ain't a tadpole, and I mean, obviously, I could have told you that. And so the two set off for the next town. On their way there, we picked up some hidden blocks and ran into Bowser and his henchmen. Heck's happening up here? <gasps> it's Bowser! There's so many Kameks! I thought there was only ever one Kamek. What are they doing right now? What is happening? All right, people, form rank. This is our finest moment. Bowser's minions are invincible. We shall be victorious. 
The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out on the double. Oh, the boys, they're off. Arriving in the town, we find out a villain is raining down paralyzing arrows on the town. <laughs> hey, Mario, but taking care of Princess Peach now. It's a bit Mario jump attack. <laughs> Yeah. Ah. Attention, Peach, you're coming with me. Zip your lip. Help, help. Somebody please help me. Huh? Help. Oh my gosh. Mom, look, we have a guest. Yes, dear, I hear you. Hello there. Why aren't you Mario? Indeed I am. How do you, how do I know it's you? You might be pulling my leg. Show me, prove it. Okay, here you go. Jump. All right, you're Mario. Want to play me? I'm playing Save the World. Better watch out, Bowser, because Gino is going to blow you away. Take this. Who the heck is Gino? The super duper custom pad pattern and one and only one shot shooting star shot. Okay. Oh dear, my Mario, are you alright? No, I'm dead. What the heck is happening right now? Oh, it's like Pinocchio. I'm a real boy now. Wait, he just grew in size. This dude's cool. It's actually badass. What the actual heck? The next morning after my nap, where I totally didn't get knocked out by a child playing stupid dolls, I went to the store and got a secret block. And then from here, we head into the maze forest. There was a bunch of hidden chests in this place, which were kind of annoying to find. I'm not going to lie. These chests aren't the best hidden collectible. I'm going to be real with you. I tracked the animated Geno through the woods and eventually stumbled upon Bolia, the arrow guy which Geno confronted. Joining Geno in battle, Mario and Mallow assist him in taking down Boya. But Boya does have the ability to turn off certain actions and limit our gauge usage, which is kind of annoying. After slowly taking his health down with the help of Gino's Kamehameha Mami wave, all of our abilities get locked from being used. But what he can't do is stop us from using our new move, the triple move. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, we're on Rainbow Road again? Okay. Damn, boy. Okay, 116 solid. Let's go. This earned me another star as well as learning about Gino's backstory and what these star pieces actually do. Turns out these stars form the Star Road and grant wishes to people who wish upon a shooting star. But when Smithy destroyed the road and smashed down into the castle, the pieces were scattered. And so now Gino, a star spirit, I guess, wants to fix the Star Road. I guess we can get on board with helping him do that, and maybe we'll find Peach along the way. I took a small detour now into the pipe vault, which earned me a bunch of sweet items, as well as finding a few hidden chests. This also led me to the hidden Yoster Isle, where a bunch of Yahoo! Yoshi be lurking, baby. Guys, rate my Yoshi impression. Yahoo! Say, now they're here, we could use your help. Please talk to a few of my pals here, and uh, what, you can't understand them? Well, hop aboard, I'll be your interpreter. Okay. <gasps> yes! Okay, let's... Not what I was trying to... Okay, hang on. Okay, hang on. I got this. I got this. I got I got this. Okay. There was this stupid mini game here that I swear does not work where I was supposed to press A and B to run as Yoshi, which I did lose a few times at, but then using this cookie spam strategy, I finally won. Easiest race of my life. Never even struggled. I don't know what you're talking about. This did earn me a cookie that would summon Yoshi in battle. So that was kind of cool and worth it, I guess. Pressing onto Moleville, I visited the shop and purchased a bunch of items for the collection and bought enough work pants for everyone since they provide a massive bonus. Look at all them stats, baby. God damn. Apparently some mole kids got lost in the cave up ahead, so I went to investigate. Hey, yo, they got Magmite in this game? Is that another infinite fusion with Magma and Magnemite? It seems so. Exploring the cave, we knocked our head on the roof of the cave, and that damn raptor crocodile croco dude came and stole my money again. So I chased him around for a while, eventually taking him out and earning me some mini bombs to explore further into the cave with. Inside I found Punchinello. Punchinello? I don't know. I mean, I understand Boya being a bow and Clay Morton being a Claymore, but is Punchinello supposed to be a punch? But this guy throws bombs. I don't know. Using our triple attack, we deal some great damage off the rip and the bombs keep getting bigger. I didn't want to do this, but now I have no choice. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> he killed himself, but also now there's a giant bomb on. Hmm, what do we do if this thing explodes? Yeah, let's just li Oh god. Oh god. It's gonna blow! Mini nuke, by the way. Oh, but we're alright. Where are dynamite and the star?
Okay, well, there's the star. <laughs> Come to Mario. Mario time. Three down, four to go. Further exploring the cave, we find the missing children and hop in a minecart and ride with them to the base of the mountain. All these random minigames are fun enough, I guess, but they do tend to drag on. This one having little to no importance with no real reward besides, I guess, a couple of coins. Finally launching through the sky and into the house of the mole people, we drop them off and head to look for Peach. Before leaving Mole Town, however, I bought some fireworks from this random mole for $500? What? And gave it to a child? who wanted them for a shiny stone? Did I just get ripped off? I, I... maybe, but who knows, we might find use for this thing. Making our way through Booster Pass, we find two hidden blocks and arrive at Booster Tower. Booster has such a nice place, I miss my fortress, Oh, I miss the good old days, Peach screaming in terror, Mario rushing in to save her. Well, I'm here. Oh jeez, it's Mario. Oops, okay, okay, calm down, don't let him see you like this. Hey, how have you been? No, not like that, Tommy. Wrong tone, it needs to be more confidence. Okay. You, what are you doing here? If Peach were at my castle waiting to be rescued, she'd be crying like a baby. Oh, is that so, Bowser? <laughs> <laughs> Bowser be like, yeah, door? What door? Thanks to Bowser, we bust into the tower and wait. What? He's joining our team? Well, like, I guess we're joining his team as his minions, I guess. But we're just playing along. So what's cool about this game is that we can actually swap our allies around in and outside of battle, meaning if one of them goes down, we can just easily swap to another one. The only one that can't be swapped out is Mario, however. Ascending the tower, we can check out the new triple attack with Bowser, Gina, and Mario. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, it's a multi-hit. However, our objective still remains the same. Amidst Booster's constant interruptions, we keep climbing the tower and attempt to rescue Peach. Is this guy literally Bowser, but like, not? Hey guys, whoa, look, it's me. Nice try, Booster. Can't get me back here, can ya? Oh, Peach, you're so cool. Hey, Samus is there as well, you see that? Samus and Peach. There's a nice little easter egg. Peach! I'm here, baby, don't worry. I think we need Booster's spell to undo the lock on it. Oh, what should we do? Oh my god. Where is he? Hide somewhere and wait until he opens the door. Hide behind the curtains. You can now move freely behind the curtains. Good luck hiding from Booster and his sniffsters. I can't be bothered to do party, but... We can do wedding rehearsal. Wait, Mario always shows up about now to ruin the fun. We've got to take it in consideration, you know. Someone go get the Mario doll. It's behind those curtains. Number one, you go and look. It's literally up there, you dummy. Here, let me get it out for you. Oh, shit, they're both looking at the same time. Okay, hang on, hang on. This is scary. And then there's going to be three looking at the same time. Okay, we got this, we got this. Hey. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. No one freak out. Hey. Uh, okay. You think it's gonna magically appear there? Fools. Oh my god. Guys, look up! It's right above you! You dummies. What if you all four of you look at the same time? Uh, oh my, what the actual heck. I'm a beast. Wait a minute. This is better than a party. Look out, because here I come. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait a second, it's right up there. I found the Mario doll. But we'll never be able to reach it up there. Oh, the sorrow. Uh, let me help you. I don't mind. Here, let me get it. Let me get it for you. I can probably reach. There you go. Mario, you're so kind. Thank you for getting my doll. I'd like to reward you. Here, take this. Finally, after all that, we go through the door, chasing off the booster, and he's gone. Great. Instead, there's Mr. Knifey and Balloon Boy from FNAF, I guess. We take them down and chase after them, partaking in a chase up the hill towards the church. More mini games. Yay. Nice try locking the front door of the church, fool. I'll just enter from the back. Say, wanna help me bust down this door? On the count of three, we'll run together. Timing's the key. Yeah, don't worry, I'll help you get in there. There we go. And through the door we get. Okay, and through that door as well. Let's go. <gasps> Peach lost her crown. Don't bother me now. Okay, everyone, the bride is growing impatient. Let the wedding begin. What's this water coming from your eyes? Are you leaking, my dear? Are you leaking? 
tastes salty. <laughs> Oh my god, no shoddy. She has dropped some of her wedding gear. Ah, oh, of course, but those tears will ruin the cake. Make her stop before Mario breaks in. Uh, huh? tad late on that one. Booster, you're supposed to be on the right. The bride should be on your left. Oh my god. He's just testing to see if you guys knew. But where is the crown? I have the crown. Okay, we got the shoe. Got the brooch. Got the ring. Where's the crown? Where's the crown? Where's the crown? <laughs> We're all looking for the crown. Where's the crown? God damn it. Oh, the crown's on his head. Huh? I did come to crash your wedding, Mr. Booster Man. Obviously. What the f- I know I'm in good hands when you're around, Mario. Here's a kiss for my hero. Wait, what? You're gonna kiss him? When I'm the one who saved your skin? Me too. I want a reward. I'll take a kiss. Give me a kiss. Stop it, all of you. I'm getting confused. This is for you, Mario. Oh. Hell no. I did not sign up for a Bowser freaking Wario ripoff kiss. What the heck? Now that's one for the scrapbook. Hey. Screw you, Peach. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, the cake's here. Nice. Well, a bit late, but... What the? This cannot be. We worked all day on it. You fools. Oh, okay. We're fighting the cake, potentially? Okay, also resistant to physical attacks. Or potentially we just destroy the cake instead. Yes, okay. They're immune to everything. We just destroy the cake. Ouch, ouch. What are you doing? Chef Tort, the cake's moving. The cake's alive, run! It's the appetizer! Pain spout? What the f- One more, come on. Okay, all the candles are out. Now we jump. Oh, we took down the, the top layer. Now it's just the bottom layer. The boys in the clown car. Fire, ice, and lightning. Very, very frightening. Bomber clap. Maybe we ought to wait. For what? This Booster's wedding cake. He'll have a fit if we nibble huh? on it. Oh, Booster wasn't inside it. How do we eat this? I say we boil it. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Way too messy. You're right, actually. Why don't you just swallow it? What In one gulp? <laughs> what is happening right now? Delicious. <laughs> Hang on, I'm feeling, feeling, yes, yes. It's so good, it makes me want to cry. It's a wrap. Let's go. Okay. Well, I guess he doesn't care that he didn't marry Peach and he... All right. You know what? Good enough. Oh, yeah. Peach, princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, has joined the party. And with that, our fifth member, Peach, joins our party. I then did my daily shop at the, well, shop, I guess, for all the collectible items I needed, specifically buying the nurture ring for Peach. All right, it's time to return Peach to her castle. With a little help from Mario. Wahoo, wahoo. Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Come on, everyone. Let's get out of this drafty <laughs> Oh, god damn it. All right. <laughs> Wait, Peach isn't joining the team? Damn it. That could have been cool. Yeah. Wait, Peach, don't jump. What are you doing? Oh, I guess she is joining the team then. Cool. I then went back to that tadpole toad who did this singing and all that stuff and get another card and went to investigate Star Hill. Wow, so many stars. I guess the name makes sense. Some stars have holes, some don't. I don't know if that's valuable info for anyone, but now you know. But eventually I found the star I was looking for. Ooh, four down, three to go. Arriving at the seaside inn, I have a weird interaction with this toad. You may stay for free. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> uh, why do I feel like I'm gonna be abducted? Okay, no, he's just waiting for me on the table. Okay, interesting character. This town is very weird. And suspicious. These toads are blue as well. I'm not sure what's up with that. But I did find a frog that evolved from being a tadpole in the pond we visited earlier, and he's selling special items for frog coins. We're gonna need to purchase all of these for 100% completion, but on this trip, I only had enough coins to purchase the EXP booster, which would come in very useful since every character needs to reach the max level 30 anyway. So I get it, chuck it on Peach, and head to the beach. Hey, that rhyme. I found a sunken ship and begin investigating. Now inside the ship, I'm supposed to figure out a 
code to get into a room, but even though I did read every secret, I couldn't be bothered, and so my old pal Google told me the answer. It was pearls. Entering the room, we encounter way too many tentacles, which is giving me flashbacks to something, but I probably shouldn't tell you what it is, and so instead I take down a couple of the tenties? Tentacle? I don't know. And out comes the squid boss, King Calamari. This is actually making me hungry. I want some calamari now. Clown car barrage, go boom! Oh, who's that handsome devil? Arr, what's going on here? Who are you? Oh no, the shark boys. Where's Lava Girl? Taking them down, I meet the leader of the shark crew, Johnny. This dude's pretty strong and ramps up damage in his second phase. And Johnny also challenges Mario to a 1v1, so we can't use any of the other characters. Okay, let's not mess this one up. Okay, I messed it up instantly. Well, uh, you messed it up, didn't you? Doing it all again, we won! Lost yeah. again. Okay, we lost again. But that's alright because when we do it all again another time, we won on the third attempt. Which means we get to claim our next star. Heading back to the town, it's revealed all those weirdo toads are actually smithy clone people or something. I don't know. Well, time to take on Spearvich. See, this makes sense. He's a spear. Spearvich. We get it. Nice. And with that, we free the townsfolk and head to Lands End, making sure to get all the hidden blocks along the way. I found this jumping challenge along the way where we can earn green frog coins from. So if I need some more later in the game, this is the place I'll probably come to to get them. I then found myself in the desert. No. I mean desert, you know, with like sand and stuff. Making our way through, I stumble into Balome's temple. Kind of random since he was the sewer boss, but now he's got a temple all the way on the other side of the map. But whatever, there's a lot to do here. But most importantly is taking down Balome again. Dead? Oh no, not again. I'm starving. Time to go home for dinner. Goodbye, boys and girls. See you later, fella. This takes me to another weird town known as Monstero Town. This town is filled with all the enemies of the game, and uh, it's kind of weird since we can just straight up talk to them. I spoke to the town mayor, who was actually a toad, who instructed these paratroopers to help us up a cliff in the desert. Also in the town was this. Next door, I spoke to a thwomp and this wolf enemy thing, and the wolf guy encouraged me to hit 100 consecutive jumps using the super jump ability with Mario. Now, let me just preface this by saying, I have never been more mad at a video game ever than I have doing this damn challenge. I don't even want to get into it yet, but you guys will see later. It pretty much destroyed my mental stability, but uh, first let's do some other things. As I left that house, I saw a black door next to us, and upon approaching it, our shiny stone, which we got from that kid, reacted to the door and we went inside. Um, got way earlier. Apparently he's doing something. What the heck is this? Greetings, I am Kalex, Dark Knight of Vanda. You will enter the combat against me? Okay, I guess so. Oh my god, what is happening? Apparently this is a remix song of the Final Fantasy VI boss, and since the original was created by the Final Fantasy team, that makes sense. But the hidden boss does in fact destroy us, so I decide to come back later. However, there are so many tasks in the town to still complete. I sleep in a bed and these ghostly guys hide flags all over the world, which we would need to find, and finally went into Jinx's dojo. If we can beat this little dude three times, we get a super good equipable. You deal well for an inexperienced Jager. Oh, it's Nuzleaf. <laughs> What's up, Nuzleaf? <laughs> Jesus, Jinx. So we beat him twice, but we are far outclassed for the third battle, and so I have yet another reason to return to Monstero Town later. Climbing the Paracoopers, now we arrive in the Bean Valley. Not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting Land's End to be, well, the end, but I guess not. Here I took on a Piranha Plant, which kept getting healed by this damn shy guy. Will you please stop defeating him? However, we hit a block and find, uh... Oh, wow, it's a beanstalk. Ascending the beanstalk, we make it to Nimbus Land in the Cloud Kingdom. Oh, ooh, who's this babe? But it just so happens we have found the missing prince, Prince Mallow, that is. Oh, <gasps> wait. 
Oh, this makes so much sense now. What a coincidence. There's a prince with the same name as me. I, I don't know if you're being stupid right now, but you're literally a cloud person like the rest of these people. So I'm um, pretty sure you're the prince, but sure. But before heading into the palace, it was time to attempt the 100 consecutive super jumps. If I jump on the head of these spiky enemies, I can keep attempting this until I run out of FP, since we don't deal damage jumping on spiky enemies. So, how long did I attempt this for? Oh, I don't know. How about three full days? Back for more jump grinding. I don't f***ing get it. I literally f*** it. As soon as he gets there, and, and it doesn't work, I don't know what the fuck to say. No! 87! 13 more, that's all I needed! Oh my god, I hate this shit so much, man! What the shit? So, it's probably important to explain how these super jumps work. Well, obviously, as you land on an enemy, you press the A button again to jump. The first few jumps have a lot more leeway in the timing, but after hitting 14 jumps in a row, you have only a 3 frame window to hit the button again to jump up. So from 14 jumps to 100, being 86 more jumps, you have only a 3 frame window to bounce off it. Now granted, the item we get from doing this is very cool and awesome, but uh, I don't know if it was worth the strain to my mental state. Oh my god. But finally, finally, this happened. Let's go! 100 perfect jumps, baby! Woo! That's how I freaking do it! Got a super suit! Ah, honey, I found my super suit! The super suit is insanely good! Look at those bonuses! 213 in attack, so what's that? Plus, plus 40 in attack? Look at that, it's just beautiful. Everything about that is beautiful, we will take it. I then went to find the hidden flags around the map. One I found under Mario's bed, then one on Yoshi's island, and finally one behind a sign. Taking this back to the town, we get the ghost medal ticking off another item on our list. Okay, back to the Cloud Kingdom we go to get turned into a statue and placed on display in this lady's palace. I mean, I look pretty good in gold, I'm not gonna lie. What the heck is up with this bird? Why is he pecking me? We have to fight our way through so many enemies on our way to the queen, but on our way there, we are blocked by a big fat egg. But what was in the egg? Oh, but it's Birdo! What the heck? We take her down and keep on pushing, baby. Yo, we need to free the real king and queen, and lady, that ain't you. Hey, why are you leaving your bird to fight? I'll track you down, don't you worry. So we take down her bird husband, or, or whatever the heck's going on here, and eventually we catch up to her to take her on. Bowser gets dragged off to fight Dodo by himself, while the others took on the fake Queen Valentina by themselves as well. Nice! And with her defeated, we claim the key to Mallow's parents' chamber, and the tears begin. Mario, you're smart for bringing out that umbrella. But there's no star here, so I don't know why I did all of this. I don't care about having Mallow meet his family. Who even is this Mallow guy? Why, why do I care? So off I went to the hot springs, which led straight into a volcano. Apparently a star fell in there, so that's why we're headed there. Why the heck is okay. Donkey Kong in this volcano? I then found this shop in a volcano where I bought new and improved armor for everyone and noticed a cool little Nintendo Easter egg in the background. Hey, wait! Hey, it's the, um, from, uh, Star Fox? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, this is Star Fox. This is Samus's ship, I think. And this is F-Zero, uh, Captain Falcon, right? Taking down the boss of this volcano, we go to claim the star and great. Who's this guy? One epic chase scene later, we reach the top of the volcano and follow them onto their Megazord. The idea is to take them down with a bunch of multi-target moves like the Ultra Fire Flower move and the Geno Flash. <laughs> Flash your Geno tiles. <laughs> 
defeating them all the leader hops on the Megazord head and this does so much damage with a single unblockable blast it almost takes down everyone however we do manage to hang on and can take it down and claim the second last star but now it's time to do a bunch of cleanup and item acquisitions first I got the final song card the soprano card from the guy and sung a song I then went to Booster tower to pick up a chain chomp do this annoying guessing game with that knife clown boss where I needed to guess right 20 times to get the bright card to gain access to his brother's casino. Finding the casino was important because he had a special item which required me to beat him at this 50-50 odds challenge 100 times. What is their obsession with 100 times in this game? Well, I guess I'm obsessed with 100%ing this game, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Finally achieving this great feat earned me the star egg and off I went to track down more goodies. I then picked up the echo signal ring from Croco. Got some fertilizer from a shy guy by floating in the air. Don't ask too many questions, Mario is now a god. I then took this fertilizer and a seed I found to this gardener guy who grew a beanstalk and uh, that earned me the most powerful weapon for Mario, the lazy shell. I then went back to Booster Tower because apparently I missed a hammer there. Uh, even though it's not as good, uh, we do need it for our collection. Then I purchased a Game Boy from this cool little Toad Kid. I know, kind of random that there's just a, a Game Boy to be purchased and it has this old mini game. Uh, but to my knowledge, uh, doing well in this mini game has no rewards, so uh, onwards we go. I then needed to grind some money to buy a frying pan for Peach, so I went to the minecart mini game. Talking to this Toad, we buy Peach her pan, which does so much freaking damage. Oh my god. Oh, how fitting. Give the woman a cooking utensil. Very progressive, Nintendo. Very smart. I then hatched this egg with Peach using her nurturing. A sheep? Okay, I'll take it. We then took down Jinx for the third time and earned the Jinx Bell. And now, all that was left was to head to Bowser's castle and find that last star and confront Smithy. Bowser's castle was a long and painful road to get through, but I was willing to take on all of the battles in there because we needed to reach level 30 anyway. Behind two of these doors are battle courses. Behind two more are these hardcore parkour courses. And finally, we have two quiz courses. I only need to beat four of these to progress, but since I'm getting all the chests in the game, I have to do all of them anyway. But making it through all of this, we make it to Bowser's throne room where this adventure began. And atop the chandelier, we found ourselves once more. Got him! Can't be defeated by them. I won't let this happen. I won't fall in battle. Uh, having an attack. A heart attack. I'm a soldier. I'm prepared to go. Take a dive. Shine the Leo. <laughs> See you later, kids. Boomer. Oh, poor Boomer. No, the Boomers. The poor boomers of the world, man, they, they weren't ready. And with a little dance, we make it to the peak of the castle to take on the big bad sword, which actually isn't Smithy. I was, for some reason, assuming this was going to be Smithy, but uh, I guess not. And upon defeating him, we get sucked into its mouth, which is a wormhole to another dimension known as Weapon World. Okay, well, I think this is the final stage of the game then. We've gone from Land's End to the final Bowser's Castle to, to now Weapon World. But, okay. But before heading further in, it was time to take on the hidden Final Fantasy boss and finally defeat him. Greetings, I am Kalex, Dark Knight of Vanda. I have crossed into this dimension to fight for the Dark Mage. This is OG Final Fantasy music sound, by the way. I am Matter. I am Antimatter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time and I will consume you. Mmm, hungry consumption. Uh, 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 uh. The star bringeth his booty! Geno Blast! Someone's dead. Two of them are dead. Come back, Mallow, we need you. What are all of these multi hit moves? Okay, at least Peach lived, that's good. Oh, big damage. Hey! Disintegrate the Final Fantasy boss. Pop goes the weasel. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, yo, a little Final Fantasy jingle. I love that. And with the Final Fantasy boss defeated, we head back to Weapon World to find an incomplete version of all the previous bosses. We can fight these enemies for a lot of XP, and with the EXP booster, we should be able to save a bunch of time. 
Heading into the factory though, we take down a bunch of Smithy's minions until finally we come face to face with the big man himself. Not gonna lie though, uh, I thought it'd be a little bit scarier. Hey, there's the last star piece. Oh, it is Smithy. Is this the final boss? Let's starry spike shell use it because we might build it up. He's got the power of the stars on his side. Rock candy, attack all enemies. Let's try it. Ah, return meteor mash. 200 damage, okay. Oh, 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 he's creating something. Oh, it's just that, okay. Ultra jump time, baby. Oh, big damage. Yeah! Princess Peach Smack! Oh, an arrow. Calm down, Smithy. Your head looks like a geyser. Uh-oh. I'm about to explode. Nah, he's about to destroy them. What the? How in the heck? Oh! Oh my god, this is creepy. Are these previous Smithies? They look like previous Smithies. I'll show you my real form. Rawr! Oh, okay. What the heck? He's a tank! He's in a tank. Next peach turn we heal. Okay, he's no longer a tank. He's now a... Tank. Oh, he's weak to lightning. He still have 2,700 health. Okay. Mallow, come back. I need you to use your lightning attack. Shocker! Bah! Okay, that did no damage, even though it was a weakness. Our ultra move here is got electric in it, so let's do that. Clown car barrage! <laughs> nice, solid damage. That might have been enough. My body and head are burning. No! Wait, that was pretty easy. I'm finished. Done for. Up goes the weasel. Come on, Mario. Send the last one way up high. Do, 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 do. That is all seven stars returned to the sky. And with that, we collect the final star, meaning the star road is restored. Bowser has his castle back and, uh, oh yeah, Geno technically dies. But wait, I, uh, Geno can't die yet. I hadn't finished leveling him up. Well, turns out the game takes us back to just before I beat Smithy. So from here, I go and collect the final flower tabs by handing in a bunch of mushrooms over to this mushroom boy, which somehow rewards me a flower tab. And then by farming those bosses in Weapon World, I can level everyone up super easily. And with reaching level 30 with every character, I had but one thing left to do. And that was to acquire enough frog coins to buy everything from the frog. So I went to earn some from that jumping mini game. And then finally, finally, I handed it in. And go to Seaside Town and purchase the final item for this run. And Mr. Frogman, give me the flower ring. We have done it baby let's freaking go we found all hidden treasures as well let's go baby and that is how i 100 percented super mario rpg the remake on the nintendo switch i hope you guys enjoyed if you did smash like hit subscribe and uh me and mario will see you guys next time peace